in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Gospel we listen to today reminds us of what was happening during and because of the first advent of the Lord. And it should clarify us as we're working for and praying for the second advent, the final coming of the Lord at the end time. We will hear, we will be challenged, we need the encouragement of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, you baptise us with fire and the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Christ Jesus, you are God's anointed, faithful and true. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you clothe us with the robe of salvation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. We ask, we invite the Holy Spirit to unite us as the disparate body of Christ here in St. Maximilian Kolbe, really reaching out to feel connected with the whole of our community, especially at the moment with those worshipping online. solemnity of your Son may bestow healing upon us in this present life and bring us the rewards of eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. Amen. Sounds like you like to do in heavens, and let the clouds rain it down. The Lord will make us prosper, 
and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. Send victory like a dew, you heavens, and let the clouds drift down. sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or must we wait for someone else? When the men reached Jesus, they said, John the Baptist hath sent us to ask you, Are you the one who is to come, or have we to wait for someone else? It was just then that he cured many people of diseases and afflictions and of evil spirits, and gave the gift of sight to many who were blind. Then he gave the messengers their answer, Go back and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind see again, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised to life, the good news is proclaimed to the poor, and happy is the man who does not lose faith in me. The Gospel of the Lord. During the dreadful days of the pandemic. It seems that the encouragement to go out for a walk has helped many people with the anxiety, but also opened people's eyes to the beauty of creation, because many have not taken the time just to wander, going through certainly three seasons, isn't it? We were in spring, summer, and definitely now in winter. People have seen creation in the way they have failed to. And in our first reading, Isaiah reminds us, this is the work of God. It is the hand of the Creator within creation. Open up your eyes. Be aware of the beauty that God gifts us with to feed our souls. It's Isaiah that we've been listening to primarily in the first readings of Advent. And we have prophecy fulfillment in the Gospel. Because we've heard Isaiah say over and over again, look after the poor. It will be a time when the lame walk, the deaf hear. We'll have the song again as we have communion together and obviously spiritual communion with our brothers and sisters online. Go and tell John what you see. This reaching out to everyone in need. If we are really calling for the advent of the Lord, we must be doing exactly the same, including, quite definitely, being open to the miraculous healing of God. It's not our power, we know that. It is the action of the Holy Spirit, but we need to be open to it. If I said, miracles occur in Lourdes, you would all say, of course they do. And if I say, miracles occur in St. Maximini Kolbe, Maybe it's, well, really, you're sure? Yeah, it's the advent of the Lord. It's the Lord working to bring about the way the kingdom should be. So let's be aware. Are we amongst those needing the healing hands of the Lord? How can we be the healing hands of the Lord to others? Reaching out to them, 
socially distanced of course, in whatever their needs are. With a word, with a phone call, definitely with a prayer. I'll be going off to the food bank at some point this afternoon, so thank you again for this ongoing support. But please, do not neglect the prayer of healing for others. It's so powerful. And obviously we're going to, yet again, pray for quite a large number of people. So let's be still for a moment. Let the word of the God who speaks speak into our spirit. All these signs of the presence of the Lord, his advent, do we see them? Are we part of them? Are we allowing them to occur through us? Let's pray we live the way of the kingdom. Lord, hear us. We give thanks to God for the vaccine that has been released. We pray that others will be released soon, because when you think of it, they've said how difficult it is to keep the vaccine at minus 70 in our country. In the developing world, especially around the equator, how on earth will they manage? So we do need these other vaccines to be released and we continue to pray for their effectiveness. Lord, hear us. We pray for the ministry of our parish as people of the advent of the Lord. Lord, hear us. In silence we present our personal needs. Lord, hear us. And for those we've been asked to pray for, we lift them up up their names to the Healing Father. For Hassan, Steve, John, Pat, Lillian, Julius and Ansi, John, Ina and Edmund. Lord, hear us. And we remember the intentions of the Scowcroft and Sweeney families. We ask you, good Lord, to hear our prayers and to, to grant them for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. We offer ourselves from the altar of sacrifice. Please notice the recognition of God the Creator within the prayer that I say. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. 
fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. And for the final time this year we use the Advent 1 preface because everything changes in focus from tomorrow. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and every word, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highs. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out.
out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. When? Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God.
sisters with us via streaming will now be singing this much loved Advent carol. So they are supporting us with their song prayer as we are supporting them. To hope you are using our Advent prayer sheet. This is one of the Advent prayers and reflections. Come Holy Spirit, be with us as we journey through Advent. Fill us with your wisdom and counsel as we strive to share the good news of this season with others. Bring your healing to all those who need it, physically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, 
or in other ways. Fill us with your love and peace in these strange times as we continue to try and be a people of hope and faith, not fear. Come, Holy Spirit, be with us as we journey through Advent. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and proclaim the Gospel of the Lord. Just ask if anyone's got a minute if there are any food bank bits could they leave them by the fire door in the hall and then i can put them in the car later thank you